Welcome to Attican Plays, Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. All right. Hi, this is Attican, and welcome to uh, Series 3, Episode 3 of Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. And excuse me, my voice is, uh, is fighting me this morning. All right, a little coffee. Maybe that'll help. All right. Uh, so... Um, let me first catch you up. I, I played about another month, I think, and uh, I, I wanted to. I did a couple of things that I wanted to do in the first one and just forgot in the, well, in, the, in episode two, the last episode, and I simply forgot. Uh, one uh, wanted to fix this train, um, and some of you commented, that, and I didn't even see it. We had an ambulance that went out there and just sat because the train was was causing the signal to be blocked. Um, that train sticking out is no good. Now, I just have this huge prejudice. I want my trains to be as big as they can be, but but uh, it's not going to work. So I actually took the train and sold off half the train. So you can see it was carrying 200 tons of alcohol. Now its capacity is 100. And I've got it so it'll fit in the warehouse with the engine and three boxcars. And that way this road is clear and I think right there's an ambulance as we speak. Yep, right there's an ambulance doing its thing uh, as we speak. And uh, so uh, that's much better. Uh, it'll just run more often. It's not quite as efficient cost-wise, but it's not that bad and it's no big deal. And I also, by the way, have some plans for how to make that more efficient going down the road as we expand and using this one train for multiple purposes. And I think that'll work out nicely. So uh, I did that. Second thing was I put in the gas station and our uh, truck depot and added this truck right here, uh, which uh, is hauling al uh, alcohol. Because if we're going to produce alcohol, the greatest savings we can get, the biggest value we can get is supply it to our own people. Uh, because your import costs are higher than your export values. So uh, anytime we can save import of alcohol, that's even better for our economy than exporting the alcohol uh, out of our country. So we've got a truck set up. He, he goes to the warehouse, loads up 100% uh, full of alcohol, goes over to the pub, and and stays there and keeps uh, emptying his alcohol until he's until he's completely dry, and then he goes and does it again. And that way, it extends the storage of the pub. So our pub has seven and a half tons. It's full of alcohol, but it also has the 5.7 tons that are still on this truck that'll be loaded in there as needed until they're all gone, and then he'll do it again. So that way, our, our we're not importing any alcohol anymore. Hooray. So that's a big plus. So that, that's, again, that's even better than the export of the alcohol in terms of the impact on our economy. So let's see. So we got that going. We, got, we uh, fixed the little problem with the overhanging train by making the train smaller. What else did I do? Set up those two. That was it. That was it. Uh, so that, that got us uh, in pretty good uh, stead in terms of where we are. And uh, look here. If we look at last month, hooray, we actually had a trade surplus. Now, 8,000 rubles trade surplus, uh, my goodness, uh, we'll, we'll be rich in no time, right? Uh, no, our economy's hanging on by a thread right now. And that's because alcohol is not the is not the strongest start you can have. I chose it intentionally because it is kind of kind of tough. Um, now I want to go look at the comments that you guys uh, left uh, after I published this uh, this uh, the episode two. And the reason I want to show you the comments um, here we go is uh, well a couple of things. First of all, I, uh, those of you who are new to this channel, um, I don't do just let's plays. I, I really, my whole thing is we all want to be better players. And so my whole thing is let's figure out how we can help one another become better players. And 
I, I do my homework and I try to be a good player to start with. I try to, to show you things, strategies that will actually make you a better player, show you how the game mechanics work. But I don't know everything by a long shot, especially on a complicated game like this. So those of you who are commenting and you know how to do something, put it in here and help us out and I will share your comments. Uh, the other thing is um, uh, several of you had comments on like... Uh, uh, the ambulance <laughs> and uh, uh, a couple of you mentioned the ambulance and how I had blocked it off uh, one of you daredevil mentioned that uh, I hadn't been auto importing crops that reminds me of something else I need to, to show you when we go back to the game um, but just keep these comments coming they, they they help me improve they help us all improve and the big one I think was uh, Modak came up with okay how about a, a time boxing yourself um, with uh, kind of tying it into the election of President Reagan in 1980 in the United States. Of course, Reagan was kind of a, a strong anti-Soviet, uh, anti-communist kind of, kind of soul. And so uh, we could uh, use that as sort of a time box. And I thought about that a bit and thought, hmm, you know what? We could. So here's what I want to do for our goals. And... I, I want to set up that uh, by the U.S. election of Ronald Reagan on November 4th, 1980, our people will be adequately supplied and happy, and our republic economically strong enough to withstand pressure from the United States to abandon the Soviet Republic. So uh, the way we're going to do this, we're going to have a very specific test to, to figure out if we've accomplished this. So what we're going to do is, when we think we're ready, and who, that could be well before this date, but... Uh, in fact, it has to be at least a year before this date, at the, at the least. It has to be by 1979 or we couldn't run the test. We're going to run a one-year test. And for a period of one year, we are not allowed to import alcohol, food, clothes, meat, or electronics. Those are all the items <clears throat> Pardon me, that our folks would want to have uh, f from the uh, shopping center, the small shopping center, the grocery store, the small store, and the pub. So any of those that we have out in our republic at that point, we're going to turn off imports for all of these. And that means that we have to have production of all of these and we have to have a strong enough logistics and supply that we can keep a steady supply of all these things all over however big our map is. Whether we have, you know, a really small republic or a really large one, it doesn't matter. We have to be able to supply it all. And the way we'll know we've done that is that we will maintain a happiness average of 95%. So uh, we will not see massive degradation of our happiness when we turn this off, meaning that, that would tell us that people are not being able to find what they want. And we also have to have a strong economy. So after, at that one year period, we have to have an annual trade surplus of at least 2 million rubles. And uh, we can make these numbers bigger, I don't know. Uh, uh, now, are these good goals? I don't know, and, and here's the reason I don't know. I, I didn't develop this game, and I don't know the scalability and the way the time flows in the game. I haven't played it enough to really say, oh, yeah, that's a great goal, but it sounds good to me. It feels good to me, so that's what we're going to use as our goal to, uh, to go, and we'll have a very specific test to see if we pass. And then optionally, as a stretch goal, we can say that by the dissolution, of, and I, in fact, I don't even know how far out the game goes. I'm not sure it goes that far. If it does, if it doesn't, then we'll just scratch this one. But by the dissolution of the Soviet Union on December 26, 1991, our republic will be completely independent of imports so that it can exist as a standalone entity. So... What I'm not saying is we're going to turn off all our imports. That, 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 that to me is a stupid thing to do economically, to say, gosh, I'm not importing anything. I'm happy to do it up here for the things we need for our people because that's a great test. But you don't turn off all the imports. It means that we're producing everything in the game. Uh, that we have effective production of oil and fuel and bitumen and, and uh uh, fabrics and chemicals and and uh, mechanical components and whatever everything that we need so that if we had to get in a situation where we couldn't get imports from say the Soviet Union that we would survive that we would be just fine and so that that'll be our stretch goal and whether or not we actually play the stretch goal I don't know I may get bored and say okay well this was great we finished this let's go out and try to do it a different way or tweak these uh, 
criteria and play again. Um, I, I like the starts of missions more than the ends. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes, see what you all think, and, and uh, see where I am at that point in, in uh, playing the game. But uh, I, I really do like the, the feel of this. I don't know if it's completely correct, but I like having the definite test, and I like having the time box. And as I said, we'll try to see if we can't beat that by a fair margin. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. All right, so there, there's our goal for now, and feel free to leave comments and, and uh, ways that we can kind of tweak that and make it better. And please do keep keep the comments coming. I read them all. I, I'm not PewDiePie, I, <laughs> to say the least, uh, and uh, I don't have billions of uh, comments out there, so I read them all and try to comment on all of them. So uh, keep them coming. So let's get back to the game itself. Now, what do we want to accomplish uh, in this episode? Well, we just accomplished the biggest thing, which is, for me, setting a goal that we like. But now, on top of that, uh, what do we want to do today? We've got, uh, oh, oh, and the other thing I wanted to show you. Um, we've got this uh, distillery going, and we've got this distillery going. And I have turned this one off. I've turned the uh, workers down to zero. And I think this is the one that uh, the comment said I hadn't turned on the imports. Well, I've turned it down to zero as well. So, um, and, and honestly, I wish I'd never built them because that's just money we spent that we didn't need to. Uh, we don't have enough people in here yet to support four distilleries. Now, we need, uh, according to the spreadsheet, we need 15 of these flats. And I think we have three, four, five, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. We only have a dozen, so we're so we really need three more, anyway. And then on top of that, we need um, these uh, these to really be full to to really get the job done. So we're only running about two thirds capacity. So we're only two thirds of four fifths. What's that? Eight. Fifteenths, so we're only a little, a little past uh, half uh, potential capacity right now. So again, <clears throat> the, then the question becomes: Would it be better for us to spend the money to bring in immigrants? Either uh, well, we don't have dollars, so we can't do that. Immigrants, which are pretty expensive, four thousand for ten, so that's uh, four hundred a pop. That's, that's that would cost us a lot of money. Or would it be better to grow farms? I think what we're going to do is, is set up the farms. So we want to set up farms in this episode, a far, at least a farm, that can su start supplying our distilleries with crops so that we can cut down our biggest import cost, which is, uh, let's look at, oh, wait a minute, where, 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 where? Sorry, I'm a little rusty. I'm, ru I'm rusty, forgive me. Uh, oh, oh, <laughs> sorry. All right, imports. Let's look at last month. Soviet bloc imports. It we're, we spent twenty one thousand rubles on uh, crops, and yes, we had some steel and some fuel. That's starting up the gas station. That'll be pretty low. We just got one truck running right now. We will have more once we set up our farms, and our our. Food is a big expense, but and we even actually imported a little alcohol, but that was, uh, you know, probably we're not we're not producing it quite fast enough, uh, and and I also didn't probably didn't have this truck running the whole time, so we should get rid of that line, and we're going to work on food, uh, we're going to work on crops next, and and try to cut that import down by supplying crops into our. Uh, alcohol business and then eventually we'll get into the food and then probably uh, power at some point point. and once we feel like we're a little bit more stable we'll get power uh, set up and that, that means maybe maybe even going over to our original setup and starting doing some construction and um, uh, what else did I want to say oh and one other thing uh, looking ahead when we set up food my plan is to put it right here so we're going to build a neighborhood for food, similar to this, another little module, if you will, over here. But the beauty is, and we'll get into it more uh, in a little bit, but the beauty is if we can set up a shopping center like this, 
right in here somewhere that's in walking distance of these guys, these guys are not fully taxed by this one little neighborhood. So we can set up a module here for food and set up a similar thing that we're doing here. And I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. I've, I've got a whole plan here for how I can see how this is gonna work and become more and more efficient. But the one thing I wanted to share with you is by building it over here and walking to these, and now we can set up this whole module and not have to duplicate the cost of this and get more value, more bang for our buck, if you will, out of our ambulance and fire and pub and uh, cinema. So um, I'd like to think I was smart enough to do that by putting those over here to start with. I'm not, that was just a happy accident. But okay, so let's build a farm. Now we want that farm to be within reach of our fire station and you can see our fire station goes out pretty doggone far however it not really because if we had a fire way out here even with beautiful roads i think there's a great chance it would never make it so it may have that much range but it may not have that much effective range so um so let's see we really want to have the first agro farm be tight against this because it's also going to be bringing by truck, that's the plan, trucks are going to be delivering um, crops to the distilleries. All right, so I had a quick look at this and I think what we want to do is figure out how we can set in some fields. And, and then it kind of begs the question, do I want to go through and do a whole bunch of landscaping? No, I don't. I don't want to do a whole bunch of landscaping. I think, and I also don't want to block, <clears throat> I don't want to block out the rail line to carry the bag because carry the bag could be, you know, obviously we can send more exports to carry the bag. Now I really see the food coming from this way, which means it can just tie into the track we have. The clothes, which would be the next logical thing to do, would be, or we could even do the clothes next. Uh, it depends on what we think. Um, again, I think over here, I think what we're going to do is build our, uh, our initial attempts at independence this way right along the border so we're getting the cheapest imports we can get to start with and then that would tie in and kind of link eventually to our capital city down here so that would work nicely all right so i'm thinking food here clothes here or vice versa it doesn't matter uh, either way will work and i'm thinking that uh, the trains i think the trains will be fine but again back to what I was talking about, if we wanted to use carrot bag for something else, another train export, we need to reserve some space for it. So I think what I want to do, I've got a little stub right there. I think what I'm going to do is build the stub out like this. And just, and not build it, just leave it alone. That's uh, crooked, Never mind. Let's try it again. <laughs> okay, there's how not to delete a line. There we go. All right. See if I can draw a little bit straighter line. That's good enough. All right, so we've reserved at least that much space, and, and honestly, it probably needs to be double that. All right, but let's just see how our farms are going to fit in. And and again, the goal is to have this agro farm within range of this fire station. So we're going to be putting in a farm and a silo and a gas station out here for the farm vehicles and they're all going to need fire protection those three buildings so um, all right so let's see what would happen if we were to put 
I don't think large fields are going to fit in here anywhere. No, but medium ones might. Okay. One. Actually, that's not bad. One, two, three, four. That's not that's not awful. That's not awful. So if we were to put our our farm right along right about here ish, it would be within range of the fire protection. We could run right up this. We've got a road coming out already, so we could hook up this road. trying to avoid the pain of uh, terraforming, but just work. All right, let's see if we can get maybe a couple, two or three medium fields in here like this. Again, without terraforming the entire world. that would work. I believe that we could, and we've even got some space here to run a second train track if we need to, but I believe we could put our farm down, our farm, our silo, and our um, uh, gas station right in here, and I believe that would work out okay. We could run farms along here and along here all right let's see what let's see what we can do and i think i'd like to have the silo the grain storage first closer to the city and then the agro farm connected to it uh, let's see and this uh, this is actually going to have to be set back Then the agro farm connected directly to the um, silo. There we go. <clears throat> and do, 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 oh, and a gas station. And it needs to be on this side because we're again we're leaving space for our train track through here. All right, so looking ahead in case we need it. So road, road, gas station. All 
right, cool. Now let's just see how much damage we can do. Well, how much is that going to cost us to build? 50, 75, about 100,000. Now that's not awful. And what are these farms? Are they costing us anything to build? I don't think the farms cost anything. I think the farms are just, you're just kind of laying out land that's going to get planted later. Uh, would big fields possibly fit anywhere? Out here, yes. Possibly back here. Oh, not without re-sculpting the earth. All right, so medium fills, will they fit? They will, so let's put a road on the other side of our, hmm. Put a road on the other side of this. some farms in ah, come on Four, five, so that's six medium fields. And we'll have to make sure that we can cross over before I forget it. Ah. Well, when these are tight, it, it's it. Uh, uh, uh. I am fairly certain I do. I won't swear, but I'm fairly certain that now that we have that space reserved, that we can come back later. And, and run a track. Well, in fact, we can test it. Yeah, we will be able to run a track through there if we need to. All right. Track's going to fit through that. Uh, 
but we need to cross over. We'll, we'll deal with that. If the time comes and we have to build a bridge or something, we'll, when we have more money, that's what we'll do. All right, let's see if we can get some more farms laid down here. Six medium, two small. It's eight. I think I'd like to have at least a dozen. Ooh, that might be infringing on our town a little bit. Oh well. That's enough farms for now. All right, and we need power. We do need power. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> I've only got one transformer and I don't even know if I can come out of it in any intelligent way. Mm -mm -mm. Can we run it off of, the problem is I can run it off of this, but then all the power drawn by the trains is gonna to go to there. Plus, I don't think, these don't take that much power. They really don't. I'm, we're gonna run it off of this for now. Let's see if that works. But we're not, um, but we'll have to be mindful of the fact that this may or may not, and it doesn't want to, crap, it doesn't want to go. 
I don't want to put them in there because I'm just going to have to rip them back out. So hmm. let's start backwards. Let's put this guy out here. Give him road access for fire protection. And hook him up somehow. really need to move all of these over one. I'd love to get this line going into coming out of that point. And our, our transformer itself, it could do 14, three, six, seven. Yeah, it can handle pretty much everything we can. We can use them all without overpowering, that's what I'm saying, or what I'm trying to figure out. And I think that's true. Now I'd love for this line even if it has to do a weird dance wanted to This is too tight, lesson learned. And it really should be all the way up here out of the way so that these are all the way up here out of the way for future expansion. So there's a couple of things. And you could say, well, why don't you just branch off an existing line, which I think is what I'm gonna end up doing. Uh, Repair the damage we did and let's split split off of the line right here. Is that the one? I'd rather not split off the line that's going to the um, trains, but naturally it's the outside line. Uh, what a mess. Anybody who has a great way to uh, set up these, um, uh, you know, wire your city. If you've got some good organizational skills around that, please share them or point me to uh, some place where we can find some help. That would be great. I'm not very good at it. I confess. <sighs> Man, I hate splitting both those lines. I'll get confused. I know I will. But i got to do it. All right.
Now I actually want to split that. I want to put a splitter. For that inside line for this guy. And he goes to... Oh, this is ridiculous looking, isn't it? Where is that coming from? Got one coming from the inside that goes... Where? Oh, it goes all the way around here. So this line... ends where? That's the innermost line that's running around here. Then the second line should be running to this box, and that's the one we split off of this. So this has to go as big an angle as it'll allow. There. Then our train connection needs to go just outside of that. and connect up with that guy right there.
Oh, that's so weird. Okay, I've got these, these lines are crossing and they don't need to cross. They shouldn't be crossing at all. What a mess. Good Lord. Uh, like I said, I always try to show you outstanding gameplay. Uh, this, is, this is not it. <laughs> so what I really want is this inside one to hook up with that one, which it's not allowed to do, it says. Oh, I see. We got too much stuff going on here. What is all this crap? Now there. Now we have an inside line running around, splitting off, going out to the farm, and continuing around this way to that right there. Then we've got the far inside one kind of comes on the inside goes over there and our train line comes out like this and goes around like so. Geez, is it actually connected? Let's just find out. And pause. Apparently not. Let's see. No power. Here, here. Here, here. I think we missed. Let's see if we powered our. Okay, he looks like he's got power again. The train. Uh, we've got power. Yes. 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 All our substations have power. Does our one out here that we probably haven't even built yet? It has power. Well, I'll be. And... All right. Well, that costs quite a bit of money just to clean that up. It's actually... Still a giant mess, but it's better than it was. All right. Uh, mechanisms. Give me a moment. I'm going to have to go look up the... Well, I know I want like three sewers. Sewing. Go sew some stuff. We may just stop right there until our money looks better. There we go, it found its fields. Found a dozen fields, which I think is what we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good. We've got the beginnings of a make it, of a working farm. We are very, very tight on funds.
Our births are outpacing our deaths. That's a great sign right there. We've got 492 with no education, but we've got 471 babies. So we're, let's see, 4, 8, 1,300. Yeah, that's everybody. So 474 of those, of the uneducated, are babies. So that's, um, that's pretty good. If I'm reading that correctly. All right, let's wrap up this episode right here. We've got our farm established. We're starting to uh, plant some fields. And the hope, of course, is that the crops that we can grow will cut down on our import costs and cause our trade surplus to go up. We are really living on the edge right now. I, I'm, honestly, I'm not even sure we're going to make it. Um, we shall see. I, I guess I should put out one of those is doom ahead kind of uh, uh, clickbait in my uh, title. I'd get a lot more views, but I, I'm not going to go there. But uh, anyway, um, we'll see. I will see. I'm I, honestly right now. I do not know if we're going to make it, but uh, we will. We will see if the uh, farms can save us a little bit and give us better margins. And as we uh, get more educated workforce, if we can start seeing some more efficiency, I'm also going to go out and maybe do some math offline and uh, make sure that the um, uh, you know it wouldn't pay us to just go bite the bullet and, and bring in some more uh, immigrants. So uh, I'll, do, I'll do some looking into that offline. And in the next episode, we'll just kind of take a pulse and see if we're still alive, try to get our farms really going with uh, tractors and uh, harvesters, and uh, try to get the, the trucks uh, bringing those crops into our distilleries and see if we can't uh, get our economy uh, into tip-top shape, or at least in their survival mode. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it'll help you become a better player. And I hope you'll join us for our next Workers and Resources Soviet Republic video. Thank you.